Hey y'all, long time no see. It's Octavius Gray back with another video after a long hiatus. I had a couple of strikes because of YouTube decided to go back and flag me for videos I made last year, which had plenty of proof and evidence, but you know how it goes with censorship and the fact they are busy pushing narrative. So if y'all haven't seen, because they're obviously not talking about it in the news, here go a little clip that Hunter Biden iCloud got um, hacked and they released some footage. All right. Out the bag. It's two point zero six. Two point zero seven. Without the bag. So how long is how? Two point zero. All right. Here we go with another. As you see. Breaking down on one set up here and did a Google search and it seems like, hey, they changing it up real quick. They trying to hide just like they tried to hide that laptop, which they lied about and was proven that it existed. All right. Quarter that I'm holding in my hand. A piece of crack cocaine. No bigger than this quarter that I'm holding in my hand. One quarter of one dollar. We passed a law through the leadership of Senator Thurman and myself and others. A law that says, if you're caught with that, you go to jail for five years. You get no probation. You get nothing other than five years in jail. Judge doesn't have a choice. Under our forfeiture statutes, you can, the government can, take everything you own. Everything from your car to your house, your bank account, not merely what they confiscate in terms of the dollars from the transaction that you just got caught engaging in. They can take everything. I don't care why they become a sociopath. We have an obligation to cordon them off from the rest of society. They are in jail. Away from my mother, your husband, our families. So I don't want to ask, what made them do this? They must be taken off the street. A. Ain't that about something, y'all? The fact that he sat up here and did all of that protest and dealing with crack cocaine back in the mid-90s. And just to see in 30 odd years later for his son to be addicted to the same thing that he had sponsored. They had put many people in jail for a long time with no help, no type of um, um, intervention, no type of rehab, re re rehabilitation. So, you know, it just is as, uh, excuse me, as usual is ironic because at the end of the day, as always, the government made rules that they don't even follow, especially when it comes down to their family, families and friends. So, you know, it just, it, it's, it's foolishness going all around. And just once again, some more lies that Joe Biden then try to sweep on the rug, but hey, this son of Hunter gonna, gonna make sure this house of cards fall. All right, let me go over to IG right quick. This is very interesting to a degree, though, y'all. Because for real, for real, they want to sit up here and uh, try to act like um, Hunter Biden ain't <laughs> full of mess. They trying to act like there isn't some strange things going on in the Ukraine and the Bidens. Like, seriously, y'all, it need to stop. It need to stop. And I'll read what they said on here. Neighbors, Hunter Biden, Biden is a wild boy. He is currently being exposed by 4chan hackers who gain access to videos through iCloud. Hackers were able to retrieve videos and text messages from Hunter's iCloud. The shocking video shows Hunter getting high as a kite with prostitutes and strippers. In the video above, Hunter is weighing his crack on the scale with a woman behind, arguing about how much it weighs. Other revelations from the hacking show Hunter is not too fond of his stepmother and first lady, Jill Biden. In messages, he reportedly called her a selfish, silly, and tired of C-U-N-T. So go F yourself, Jill. Let's all agree. I don't like you any more than you like me, the text reads. And you do know the drunkest I ever been is still smarter than you could ever even comprehend. And you're a shut, you're a shut grammar teacher that wouldn't survive one class in the Ivy graduate program.
The president of the White House has have spoken on the videos or text messages. Of course, they're not going to speak on it. And some of y'all want to sit here and say, oh, so he's human and whatnot. Now, you are a child. <laughs> This is the first sign, y'all, of President Biden, the one man who set up here and made the crime bill, um, whose, son's a, whose son is busy partaking in crack. The one thing that his father set up here and built, built a bill around to, to help destroy many lives. Hmm. So, since your son is being caught with these drugs and everything like this, shouldn't he go to prison for five years and lose everything that he got? Or is it just, you know, that's my son. Uh, it don't work out for, like that for us. He need help. He need rehab. Yeah, the man need help. Because at the end of the day, if a man is willing to sleep with his dead brother's wife, yeah, man got problems. And that should make you look even further into Joe Biden history, dealing with his family and dealing with his behavior. Because at the end of the day, since everybody want to blame um blame parenting on, on certain people. Let's look at some of these um, politicians and celebrities. Cause we can even go back to 2001 to, to 2008. The Bush twins. They were busy doing all their underage drinking. They were trying to cover it up. So as you can see, this ain't nothing new. The politicians are going to continue to sit up here and put hell on us, but why they they going to continue to live it up and do things that will put us in jail. It's a constant thing. It always happens. So as always, what are we going to do about it? We can sit here and talk about it all day, but as we can see, the political figures are no good for us because they're sitting up here doing the same thing that we're doing, but are getting the slap on the wrist or able to continue to live their lives and make all this money. On top of making all this money, why everybody's suffering through inflation? Because bet you, I bet you ain't none of them struggling on the financial side, feeding their family, or just having an overall better mental health. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and comment. It's been a long time, y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Well, y'all, our president's son is a crackhead. Ain't nothing shocking because Lord knows how many drug addicts we got in um, political um, arenas. And we see how they behave. All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. This has been Octavius Great again. And I will talk to y'all later. So long.